What we're going to be doing here uh, in the next uh, part of our meeting is just to try and orient you a little bit to our trip to Australia. So we have Jake Ross coming to talk to us and she's a former Australian athlete who coaches down here in Houston now. And she's going to be talking, talking to us about kind of the lay of the land of Australia, how there's a little more than just kangaroos there, I guess. Our next speaker uh, used to be a basketball coach here. She's an unbelievable lady. She was actually on the, the Australian uh, national basketball team. She played in the WNBA. She has a bronze medal from the World Games. Uh, an amazing, amazing lady, and she is a dear friend of mine. And we're really excited that she is here, and she's going to educate you on a whole lot of things. So let's hear it for Coach Cross. As you can tell, this accent of mine, a little different. It's going to be thicker over in Australia. Trying to acclimate yourself to going to Australia, and a lot of you are going to be sitting like this. That's what the seats are going to be like, so <laughs> be ready. Right now, it's about 9.30 a.m. Saturday morning. It's not Friday night. It's the next day. It's 15 hours ahead. If you want to acclimate quickly, staying up just a little bit later, going to bed a little bit earlier will help with that. It's kind of colder than it has been because if you didn't know also, it's winter there. Okay, tail end of winter there. If you Google it, Australia has the top 10 deadliest animals in the world. It's only the top eight, so it's okay. <laughs> Actually, I don't know the real number, but I know that we have a lot of them and that's, that's not fun. Three that I kind of picked out for you because they're kind of in the Sydney area and um, you need to be careful of. First one is the Sydney funnel web. <laughs> you, you don't want to go over there, do you? <laughs> hey, I got his ticket. He don't want to go, I got his ticket. <laughs> Foods to try. So appetizing, don't they? Sausage rolls is one of them. Then of course Vegemite, you have to try Vegemite. Now, if somebody comes up to you and, and tries to give you Vegemite and tells you to like to spread it on there like jam, they're just, they're just trying to get you basically. All right, so phrases to say. If anybody comes up to you and says you're a tosser mate, you might want to just punch them in the face. No, I'm only kidding, don't do that. The whole expression, throw a shrimp on the, <laughs> throw a shrimp on the barbie. We don't use that in Australia. I don't know where that came from either. We don't use it. They're actually called prawns. We love Americans. They love your accent. Okay. Just like you're probably sitting there a little bit with my accent being like, oh, that's different. I like that. They're exactly the same with you. And you will probably get people wanting you just to talk more and more and more and they'll ask you lots and lots of questions, so you just get to talking. I want to wish you guys good luck over there, it'll be fun. Australians love sport. I, I suspect there'll be about 50,000 people at your game. Um, so, because they just love things that are new. Oh, also don't ex uh, expect them to call it gridiron still. I know, way, way back, they still call it gridiron. Um, they haven't caught up with the whole football thing yet. The first reality check of us as a team talking about Australia and I know we're going to be doing a lot of fun things, going to the harbour and visiting a lot of fun places with the team. We're just all excited about being out there. Travel across the world and play a football game, I mean, you can't ask more than that.